Good morning and welcome to another edition of Al Sarah Genie, where we will be looking today at the raising at Turfontaine inside track. Today, 12 September. Um, just for the persons who are watching this video for the first time, what Al Sarah Genie do is we do a form analysis of the races and then we give um, punters uh, outsider selections. The punters then take this outsider selections and add them to their own selections. We are not a tipster per se, we are form analyzers and by analyzing form, we do then um, give punters the horses that we think outsiders that can win or place and then they add that into their own selections and if those outsiders do arrive, they then collect the bigger dividend, which is why we are all playing the horses, is to get the bigger dividend. Now, <clears throat> I apologize. This morning is, um, today is a big day for me. Um, outside of Genia has ventured into a new um, business called Northwest Online Bloodstock. Uh, I think there is a place in the market and a little bit later today uh, in this broadcast, a little bit later I'll tell you about our first offering where you as, um, and the purpose of Northwest Online Bloodstock is to help those guys, you the guy sitting at home or in the tote and who also would want to have a share in a resource. And I can assure you we have put together a thing called fractional ownership and by fractional ownership mean you can own 10 percent of a horse or 15 percent or whatever and it doesn't matter that say that you own the ear and you own the tail and you own the hoof you own a share in a, in a racehorse and it doesn't matter um what um what percentage share you, you have it's just the fact is that you own a share in a racehorse. So for the persons who wants to get our video, um, every time it's been published on YouTube, just click the subscribe now and ring the bell. Then we are also on Twitter, um, Instagram, and um, there are contact details 083-585-5133. Then um, we have a, a special offer for you today again. Our normal package is 500 rand a month. If you sign up now till the end of September, you can get that package for 350. I just want to say we had a very good day at, at February yesterday, quite a number of winners and a quartet here and there. So we did well for the day. Then um, if you, uh, are, uh, uh, the summer season has started in Kaoking and that goes from September to end of November. And you can pick up the normal price for this package would have been 1,500. You can pick up that package now for 750 Rand. So what do you get when you subscribe to our daily form analysis? <coughs> you get the race by race selection, outright winner, and two possible outsider selections. Value bets to play each way normally six to one. Um, and you play them each way, even if, if they run a place and then win, you still make a bit of a profit. Then we give you best bets of the day. We don't try and give you e uh, even money favorites or eight to tens. I mean, you can find that yourself. We try and give you best bets that has got decent value. And we have given best bets as far as six to one um, in the past. We also give you suggested trifecta and quartet selections. Now these quartet and, uh, selections and trifecta you can play as is or use some of those numbers, add them to your number. Uh, and the same goes for the PA and the pick six. You can use it as is or you can adjust it and play it in according to your own your own needs. As I said before, our uh, 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 subscription or our selection is for you to take this outside the selections and add that into your, with your selections and then get the bigger dividend so that when you stand on a power queue, collecting the money and laughing, you'll be thanking outside the genie. You will receive this on a daily basis or through a, a paid WhatsApp group where only members who paid goes onto that WhatsApp group. And you'll get this one page. We have all the information, your day by, your race by race selections, pick six, PA, trifecta quartet, your value bets, and then we give you a small patent. A patent is the same as a Yankee. A Yankee, it's 11 combinations. A patent is 
four combinations. So now let's move on to the uh, business of the day, where we have the racing from Turfontein, the inside track. We kick off with race one at 11.55, a maiden plate for Ferris and Mears, over 1,200 meters. Let's just have a look at the betting first. <coughs> Now here the betting is, is, is uh, 18 to 10 showdown kit, 9 to 2 Emerald Foe, 5 to 1 Behop, Dubai Magic, 6 to 1, 7 to 1 Emerald Crest, 8 to 1 Lasha Star, 20 to 1 Karen B, and 25 to 1 the rest. Now guys, uh, in this race we find this horse called Showdown Kit. Showdown Kit won last time out with um, in the work riders and was then disqualified um, and um, because the jockey lost the weight. Now, guys, I just want to warn you today, they betting this horse 18 to 10, and, and, and they say the fact that it won last time, now it's a winner without a penalty. It did lose weight, so it was carrying less weight. It was running in a, 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 a very, very, very weak work riders. I mean, the horse that won Vars Lily had absolutely no form uh, whatever. And... Uh, I think the horse was like 20 to 1 or something like that. So I won't be rushing taking 18 to 10. Instead, what I'm looking at this race is to go for the three year olds. Now, I don't normally tip first timers, it's not my habit, but Sean Terry has got this. I think if you go in on the record and you'll see that Sean Terry probably has the best strike rate on first timers in South Africa. And I just think that these two runners today can be uh, can be the business, Bebop and Lyle Hewitson, and which is a water winter by Baroon Me that should have speed. And in Dubai Magic, I can tell you guys, I think Willow Magic is going to be a top stallion. And here we have a, 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 a filly out of a, a Galello Me uh, for Luke Ferraris, and I would I won't be surprised. If they finish finish second and uh, second and first, so make sure you include this in all your selections. All right, let's move on to race number two, guys. Unfortunately, I have to make it short because um, everybody, some of my members had said we must try and keep this at about half an hour maximum. So let's go have a look at race two. Race two is uh, also a maiden plate, being being what twenty two to ten back to back. Back to Black, 72, Enrico Con, 25 to 1, Burning Eyes, 7 to 1, Paw Patrol, 8 to 1, 12 to 1, Peter Shim, and 16 to 1, and Better, Caroline Reaper. So let's have a look at this race where uh, my first selection is horse number 6. Um, uh, last time I did tip this horse, and I think the jockey just went too fast on this horse. Um, and I think of a little bit of restraint. I really think that this uh, Enrico Gacetti uh, can win this, this race. It's drawn four, nicely uh, uh, drawn. And if the jockey can just settle a little bit, maybe second and third, give the horse a chance. I think number six, Enrico Gacetti, will be a huge runner in this race. Then um, we can also want to look at number seven, Burning Eyes. It's a Langari by Elidor Mir. Um, I think this horse um, hasn't shown much yet, but I, this is definitely a kind of a horse and a Sean Terry that can improve. But unfortunately, it's drawn 11. So do include in your quartets and trifecta selections. I do think this horse can run in the placings. As goes the same for number eight, Carolina Reaper. It's a flower alley by Silvano. Nicely bred. The horse has been dead and dead about. And I think, but also then draw 10, but can also be included into your quartet selections and trifecta selections, because I think this horse is, is a type of horse that will improve. Then let's move on to race number three, where we have a pinnacle plate. Um, let's have a look at the betting over 1600 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Um, Number four, Taita Norana, 12 to 5. Rusa Law, first 5 to 2. Risk Taker, 5 to 2. Shiver, 7 to 1. 7 to 1. Kairos Champ and Encryption, 16 to 1. Yes, I think, yeah, my selection is number, was number uh, one. Ach, number two, Rusa the, the, the This me won well. She's still running well for a seven old me. Already I have got to one ten times. Last time I had one of authority. Um, just kidding, I'm over this 
course and distance. And I can't see uh, why she can't go in today. Um, I think uh, for an outsider, you can look at Kyla's champ, Lula Lewitson, drawn five. And this horse has run against some strong opposition in the past. There she run behind Summer Pudding, Wiley Wells. Um, so you can see, put out, put out the, the, the red light. And so definitely a horse that has run against some serious opposition and can trouble the, the favourites. So let's move on to race number four. Uh, well, race number four for me is a uh, bit of a nightmare. Uh, it's a maiden plate over 1,800 metres. And here the betting is as follows. Watching close to 7 to 2, War will be 5 to 1, Shisha Cracker 6 to 1, Liverpool Legend 6 to 1, Burn Jasper 7 to 1, Wondrous 8 to 1, Winning Queen 12 to 1, Cots Apache 12 to 1, Farewell Bird 14 to 1, Tequila 16 to 1, and Lager Bird 13 to 3 to 1. Now, uh, guys, yeah, this is a very open race, not a strong, uh, with respect to the owners, not a strong uh, uh, field. Number one is scratching. So, uh, uh, Winning Queen has had a few uh, places, but the horse that I want to talk about in this race is down here at the bottom, and that's number 11, Tequila. Now, this horse is carrying 56 minus four. It's carrying 52, it's drawn two, and last time out ran a bit of a better race uh, behind Nabilia, and I think the, 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 this Wiley Hall out of a Ford with me, I think today, uh, with this 52, this horse, if it runs a, a really, um, you know, uh, uh, um, can definitely upset the apple cart. Last time out, I would have, 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 have 2,000 behind Nabila, just faded a little bit, but I think definitely the horse to watch 11 tequila. Then um, another horse that I want to talk about is, um, you, I think you're nearly going to fall, fall off your chairs, is this number 10, Lago Bay. Guys, this horse is by King's Barnes out of a, a red ransom me. This horse is looking for this distance. Um, it's running over short distance. Now, all of a sudden, they put it over 1,800 meters. And I've seen that, that sometimes, uh, um, you know, you, 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 you think, nah, this horse is not going to do anything because it was over a sprint. But then all of a sudden, they put it over a longer distance. So number 10, Lager Bay, although drawn 10, I wouldn't leave out of any of my calculations because I do believe that this horse can improve over this distance. So not to leave out. That's why I say it's a very open race. Also, Liverpool legend has run some decent races here and there, can improve today and you know and land up in the number one box. All in all, when you play fix big six, probably the best deal would be to put in the field. Here we have race number five, Fully Samir 82 handicap class C, merit rating 74. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we have number eight, Sammy Musa 28 to 10. Illuminate 33 to 10, Pretty Border 30, 11 to 2, Plumfield 6 to 1, Jacko Boy 7 to 1, Rabia the Rebel 7 to 1, League of Her Own 12 to 1, Tartan Downs to 14 to 1. Also, not a very strong field. Um, personally, uh, I have gone for number number 2, Illuminate. Uh, not uh, number 2, number uh, 5, Illuminate. I've given up on Sammy Musa. I've, I've really I've um, recommended it all so many times. It, just to be um, disappointed every time. The reason for me going for Illuminate, this race um, is a 74 ability rated handicap. This horse is running in a 97, although over further distance, but I don't think that uh, um, 1,800 meters will be a problem for Illuminate. Six-year-old man only had uh, two, uh, two wins, but has run against some very decent opposition, and I think in this weak field today can definitely be a contender. Then um, another horse we can have a look at is number six, Rabia de Beira, Rabia de, de Rebel. This horse always goes to the front and sometimes it's hard to catch. So maybe you want to include that into your um, calculations. Then also um, another horse I want to look at outside of is number two, League of Your Own. This horse has done well over sprints and then they started putting it over distances and it's showing um, um, that, you know, it's flashes that it can probably do the distance, getting minus two and a half, League of Your Own. Mishak approval, they are, I mean, they, they, they do long distances um, and by a uh, spaceship, the me. So definitely include into your calculations, getting the minus two and a half, but again, also a very open race. Please note number four, Lady Empress is a scratching. 
Here we have Sami Musa uh, drawn to, but this horse always gives some, uh, something to beat. But maybe today, the day that I don't um, recommend it as my first choice, then it probably will win. Number nine, Plumfield also has the ability to improve, include into your quartets and trifecta selections. Here we have in race number six. But before we uh, look at race number six, I just want to go back here. As I said to you guys, we've got today, um, we, I mean, we're officially launching um, this Northwest Online Bloodstock with our first horse for sale. And we would like to present to you a horse called Force of Oz, which is a four-year-old filly. It's a crusade by Against the Odds by King Apostle. This, this filly has had seven runs, two wins and three places. Uh, the price is uh, 88,000, 100% is available. Or if you've got a, a, a bit of money lying around, you can buy a share at increments of 10% at 8,800 per 10%. For more info, you can call 0861-231-0193. As you can see, a very nicely well put together uh, four-year-old filly. I think this horse is going to win a lot of races and she will say she will have a career after um, finishing a racing because she would be you would be able to um, uh, sell her or breed with her. And even I think when once her career is finished in Gravel or in Cuisine at all, you can probably take her to PE where she also would um, win a few races. Therefore, I think today uh, at this price uh, for this horse at 88,000, I think it's a real bargain. Uh, it's on the market, can be sold. So let my telephone ring. Don't wait around. I think there's going to be a lot of people looking to invest into this filly. So let's now move back to race number six. We've got a pinnacle stake over 18 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. The betting is as follows American Indian 5 to 2, Orpheus 5 to 2, 7 Patriots 7 to 2, Clever Guy 4 to 1, Shenanigans 8 to 1, and Dawn Assault 16 to 1. Um, guys, yeah, this is a pinnacle stake, and a pinnacle stake, you normally look at the best um, horses that's weighted. Number one, Matador Man is crashed, American Indian, Clever Guy, Dawn Assault, and Orpheus. So in this race, my first selection is um, <coughs> number seven. Number eight is also scratched. Number seven, seven Patriots, soft falling round by Hartspur me. Uh, this horse has shown uh, that it's got real ability already early in its career. And then last time I'd run well, ran on well, fastest 400 to finish to beat Express of the USA. And then the, came, uh, ex, then uh, Express ran second to run Express of the US. The, the, the US. Now this Express of the US has won again. You can see uh, eight runs, already two winners. And I think seven Patriots today um, with this lightweight of 32 is going to be really hard to beat. And it's available at a nice price of 72. I'm not a strong favorite of American Indian today. I probably have to eat my cake afterwards. And then again, don't leave your donor salt. This horse is, I mean, has won already 11 races. You don't win 11 races to be a donkey. This field is not as strong as previous races. I don't know what went wrong behind American Indian last time, but I expect Donald Salt to run a better race, do include in all of your calculations. At 16 to 1, you can't get it. Then let's move on to race number um, seven, which is a merit rate of 88 over 1800 meters. And let's have a look at the betting. Here we have also a very open race. Oscar Wald, 22 to 10, Sal I, 72, 7 to 1, category 4, Roy Tom, 10 to 1, Sword of Street, 12 to 1, Ninja, 12 to 1, Zealand Z, 12 to 1, 14 to 1, and longer the rest. Well, very interesting room race, race last time out. Um, category four um, did um, surprise me um, because I said I don't, I'm not sure whether he can do the distance and he did, and that was a 1600, now they going 1800 meters of category four. But <clears throat> on way turn around, um, Roy Tom and um, Oscar Wilde, um, was it Oscar Wilde? Um, I have got, you know, can can beat him and it's also a longer distance. So my selection in this race is number uh, two, Roy Tom. Um, Roy Tom has run on well last time out, ran well. And as I said, on the way turnaround, 
he was the fastest 400 to finish 23.6. And um, also, you look there, he ran in, he ran in higher divisions than he's running in, in this race. And um, I do think Roy Tom can run a big race here with Muzi Yeni on board. Um, and then um, I want to look at, uh, yes, number one. Now, number one is a very uh, interesting entrant into this race. It hasn't run for nearly a year now, just a few days short of, uh, uh, about eight days short of a year. But that was beat out of your league by nine leagues. Out of your league came out and won the SA Derby and, and already had won a few races. So um, I would think if this horse is fit, uh, it can be a strong contender in this race. But unfortunately, we don't know that. And as I have got a policy not to phone trainers and jockeys, we wouldn't know. Uh, but maybe watch out um, during the day. They might get a hold of Paul Peter and ask him about the fitness. So definitely, number one, not to be leave out of your calculations. Then number three, Nim Nimcha. I think it's also going to run a decent race. It has won two races in a row uh, uh, early in the year. And um, yeah, I think um, it's not done bad. Um, it's always there and thereabouts. So the Alexander Stabil is in form. I'm just uh, surprised not to see um, Jockey Swartz on this horse. I don't know what the reason is. Mazira having another ride in this race. Okay, yeah, he's riding. Oh, uh, because he's riding Z and Z. That's interesting. I did not notice that. So maybe uh, uh, um, if he's riding, then then you must include Z and Z. Um, I haven't even looked at that. Um, you know, um, yeah, this is also horse that runs there and there about. So maybe you want to include that. And then also, I think it will also be used chance to sell high. Pierce Stradom from draw two. You can never discard Pierce Stradom. You know, he always tries of his best. And uh, yeah, this horse has run a few seconds. And maybe it's due now for a win. So let's move on to race number eight. And race number eight is uh, 1,200 meters, Felicia Mears. Um, let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number eight, Oceana, 15 to four. Initiator, 15 to four. Royal Lily, four to one. Madam Patrice, four to one. Eight to one, Wild and Grey. Toto, eight to one. Over the limit, 10 to one. And 25 to one and longer the rest. So here in race eight, my selection is number one. Royal Lily, uh, Craig Zaki on board, drawn five. This horse has run well. This horse has run against some decent opposition. Royce Winter, Sarah, Cockney Pride, uh, Victory Page, Miss Florida, you know, uh, Alan Robinson. She's, she's running in a grade one, finishing just under three links. And I really think Royal Lily today will be her, her day. Um, and in other selections I do fancy in this race is number um, four. Wild and Grey only had a few runs, but um, I'm sure this horse will improve with the running as a four-year-old. Only had four runs and came off a long race last time. Didn't fare too bad, and I think with the run under the belt will definitely improve. And then another horse I think you need to follow is this Toto. Um, broke his maiden last time, uh, 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 two runs ago. And then last time, um, just faded a little bit. Um, and but I think that the run will bring him up, and with Kamaru riding like a like a possessed man, you might have a, a, a good run for your money. And here we just want to have a look at the two favourites here, eight and nine. You know, yes, um, Oceana um, did run well last time out, and uh, was beaten by Way of the World. Way of the World uh, came out to win again, and uh, yeah, definitely have a chance. Muzieri riding, and then number nine initiator. Uh, Dean Swart, Dennis Swart on uh, Nishaita Drone Free um, ran in the same race behind um, Way of, of the World. David Lee, of this weight, must have a chance in this field. Then we get to race number nine, which is a, uh, a measure of 80 handicap over 1200 meters. And let us look, have a look at the betting. Uh, number eight, Britain in Stone 28 to 10. Putin's Promise 3 to 1. Precious Stone 5 to 1. Battle Creek 7 to 1. How does it taste? 10 to 1, 14 to 1, and better the rest. Now, let's get here to race number 9, and I want to go down to number 5. Here's number 5, um, Putin's Promise. And to my mind today, the best bet on the court has run well. Um, I mean, run well in um, against Whirly Whirly, and last time was certifiable, came from way behind, and was just... Um, run out of it by the stable mate and I'm sure Putin's promise today will run a very really good race here um, has uh, one over this distance 
and I do think um, futures promise will be hard to beat. Outsiders that you can look at in this race is number four. Precious Stone, I think, will run a, a huge race today. Again, has run some nice places and coming into form and can can be a big danger to number five. And another word that I want to look at is um, number one is Battle Creek. Now, this um, uh, horse, he's tries always, some of, he's also run against some very good opposition before. They ran in middle rated Bs, now down in the C, and also ran in that race behind the Fireball, got run out of it late. But I think Larina riding, definitely a horse that you want to include in all your selections. So that brings us to the end of our preview for today. I really hope that I could point you in the right direction and that you might make a bit of money. And as I always say, break a leg.